Now, if you have ever attended any of my webinars, and when I talk about meaningful use, I always talk about the four buckets of meaningful use. And essentially, as we move through this transformative process where you are being challenged to adopt health information technology, any of the meaningful use measures, whether you're at a stage one, a stage two, as we move forward to stage three, and possibly stage four, uh, you can always drop the measures into one of four buckets. The first bucket is adopt and use technology. They are just asking you simply to turn something on or start using a certain type of technology. Measures may also go into a bucket for capture data. Now this becomes very important because a lot of what's going to happen in the reform of our reimbursement system, and again, this gets triggered by the king who makes the rule. So this has been triggered by legislation, namely the Affordable Care Act, so you can expect your commercial payers to follow suit with this. But our blanket fee-for-service reimbursement is going to go away in the long term. So the data that you capture becomes very, very critical for the future, but that may be another place where you are being challenged with health IT. The next bucket is moving data interoperably between disparate systems, and this is for typically coordination of care, transitions of care, which is one of the things we're talking about today. And then the last bucket is report data. It is now very much an expectation that you will report clinical data to CMS. They have removed this as a formal measure. It is now part of the definition of being a meaningful user. It is expected, but that's not where you, it stops. You are also being asked to report data to immunization registries, to state cancer registries. So reporting of the data becomes very important as we move forward. So these are the four buckets that you'll always see, as I call the marks of meaningful use what you're being challenged to do. And when we look at stage one meaningful use, we took a very firm stance with the measures that you were asked to embrace in the first two buckets. You were asked to purchase and adopt and start using a certified EHR technology and start to capture data. When we got into the other two buckets of moving data and reporting data, it was a lot of positioning. It was a test of exchanging data with another provider. It was a test of submission of data to an immunization registry. As we move into stage two, we are taking a very firm stance in all four buckets. You have measures that, very, core measures, that fall into all four buckets very, very strongly. 